trouble with history is it was written by historians. And I always believed if you could just get a woman to open up her heart and tell exactly what she feels and knows and has seen, you might have the secret history of a place. A few hundred miles from Los Angeles, there's a valley that remains almost as it was before the Spanish came. This is the valley the Chumash Indians call the Cuyama, the valley of the Clamshell River. There's a 400-year-old oak trees, beautiful red manzanita, chamisa, sage. The wild things come out at night, the mountain lion, the black bear, herds of wild pig, the deer, the elk, the antelope. And there's a few sizable ranches in this valley, some that go back to Spanish land grants. There's a woman out here ranching alone on a small cattle spread of a few thousand acres. A sixth generation California rancher up against the odds, living out her California bloodlines. Yeah. There's California bloodlines in my heart. California woman in my song There's California bloodlines in my heart A California heartbeat in my soul I feel a kindred spirit to my great-great-grandmother. Part of it is I have a picture of their camp in Texas before they left there and there's an old iron bed and a a lantern, a kerosene lantern, and I mean, I live in a modern house, and but I still love all that stuff, and I sleep in an iron bed all summer outside, and everyone that saw that picture said it could have been my camp, and I, every time I come here, I honestly feel a kindred spirit to her and her toughness, and she, look, she loved living way out like this, and, and I do too, it's, it's in our blood. Claudius said, I'll obey the laws up to a point. But if I have to break the law to survive out here, then that's what I'll do. Claudius' friends, well, they're pretty much made up of the same stuff she is. Mostly a handful of cowboys living the old way in lost, isolated canyons that run off the Cuyama Valley. Loners, rawhide braiders, bronc fighters, all horsemen and all human. Like Claudia, they've been in and out of romance. Some have battled alcoholism, some have done jail or prison time. Outsiders, they hail from a long line of men who prefer to be horseback and a day's drive away from civilization. People like Dickie Gibford and Jim Hannum, Johnny Arnold, and the younger generation, like Jubal Russell, Claudia's son. And even younger cowboys like Drew Duncan, whose idol is the great bronc rider of the 1950s, Casey Tibbs. Casey Tibbs probably the best bronc rider ever. Everyone kind of liked him. He kind of dressed fancy. I just like him. Here's your hometown boy, Casey Tibbs. Most common image, I think, associated with the West is a bucking horse. The spirit of a man and an animal untamed, shooting for the stars. My brother Pat always had bucking horses around to work into his rodeo string. He left a small herd out on Claudia's ranch. That didn't make her too happy. 
because they ate up all the good grass that was needed to keep the cattle alive. So one day an Australian bronc rider named Rob was invited out to test horses, see if they'd buck and could be sold off as bucking stock. Well, Rob showed his skills also with the Australian stock whip, and then he got on a few broncs. And like Casey Tibbs swimming broncs across the Snake River in South Dakota, Rob almost drowned in the middle of the Cuyama River. I just about had him beat, and he hit some soft stuff there, and just kind of disappeared in the quicksand. But he's all right, he'll, he'll be better next time. But ugly lies in the eye of man God makes bronze another way The buckskins roams, the dappled grace Let's cut down to the source I come here to tell you of The heart of a bucking horse Of names that ring like carnival games In the dusty old fairground night Whiplash, Cyclone, Cupidon, Hoochie Coochie, Dynamite And when they throw their weight at the hand of a man With the world and the suck and the force Ain't nothing that defines the West Like the heart of a bucking horse From the hurricane deck of a rank old wreck Roars the wild volcanic blood the rosin squawk is an anthem talk to the guild in the mare and the stud. All oh, the shoulders spur, the snort, the whir, oh, the screaming in a red dust rain. It echoes down to Mexico, Blackfoot rider down on the plain. Yeah, war paint, General Custer, empty saddles, trails in. Gray wolf, midnight, Indian sign, snake eyes and descent. And when they throw their weight at the hand of a man with the world and the suck and the force, ain't nothing that defines the West like the heart of a bucking horse. Yeah. This old western life's just a rodeo paint. Maynard Dixon skies that blow away. Some come to ride and some come to hide behind the chutes in the cottonwood shade. Forever out in the forefront, the great western image, the soul, the source. A cowboy's eyes intent on the try on the heart of a bucking horse. Yeah, yellow fever, dreamboat addict, paint a smile in Jesse James. Red wing banjo with a maker, oh, I love them old Bronx names. And when they throw their weight at the hand of a man with the world and the suck and the force, ain't nothing that defines the West like the heart of a bucking boy. Yeah, I come here to tell you of the heart of a bucking horse. Claudia lived out here alone for many years, struggling on. Then a major transition came into her life, because she needed help. Her son, Jubal Russell, decided to give up a lucrative bulldozing job in town and return to the ranch 
keep the Chakar Cattle Company going. He moved in with his wife and new baby boy they named Rowdy. Rowdy's gonna have to live up to his name. Jubal works mostly alone out here, and he's learned to herd horses with an Australian stock whip. Rumor has it that Jubal fought off a mountain lion once with a pocket knife. He'll tell you that story and recite some of his poems in his own little bar down there near the meat freezer. You just might want to believe him too because it's a long way to the front gate. They've been breaking these ranches up and they're getting smaller. You run less numbers. You got to run numbers to make a living. Like Jube is up right right now, feeds are getting short, hay's high. It's just it's just tough. Claudia and Jubal now have to take outside jobs to keep the place going. It's the sixth generation trying to preserve this family tradition, which echoes back to that grave on a high plain of the desolate Cariso Plains. Bloodlines back to that great-great-grandmother who came here in a wagon from Texas. It's the last go-round for the small rancher in the pristine valley called the Cuyama. Developers have discovered the town of Cuyama 20 miles off. Rain has not been abundant. Good help is hard to find. Fish and game and forestry are moving in and dictating policies. 40 miles and a few valleys away are the large thoroughbred and cutting horse ranches, the high end of the deal. But the Chekar Cattle Company keeps going. Los Angeles is just 200 miles and 100 years away. Yes, the trouble with history is it was written by historians. And a more moving history resides in the bloodlines of families, handed down and spoken in the tongue of the people who lived it. Resonating in the bloodline. California bloodlines.